<laughs> this is a 1967 Volkswagen Beetle convertible. And she starts right up with a turn of the key. And I was just telling Glenn it's got a new radio in it. It's got a new style, um, got to dial in a radio station. This is a new style, uh, that's good. We don't have to miss each other. New, new style replacement radio so the trim matches you know and everything this is a great driver great driving car it's got a great clutch in it of course for those who are shopping who know big volkswagens you know what this is it's a 67 which is a one owner i mean one one year vehicle um has a one year uh, style dash, the uh, original, we got the original uh, seat belts, which I'll show you in a second. I just want to show you how awesome this car drives. I mean, this is a great daily driver condition car. I mean, it steers one finger on the steering wheel, no wander in it. We just had it, uh, I just had everything done, uh, checked out bumper to bumper by Moon Engineering. He does all the air-cooled Volkswagen and Porsches around this area. And uh, this this car is just great. Everything about it works. Horn, even the horn works. I say that because a lot most of the time that's the one thing that doesn't work. The engine runs great. Just had a tune-up. Hey, let's go to that engine. It runs flawless exactly what you want in one of these cars lights work brake lights turn signals it's got a driver quality paint job on it the car looks great going down the road but when you get up on it you're gonna see imperfections if you're looking for a, just a nice fun driver and you're trying to get into a classic Beetle um, especially a 67 then you can't go wrong with the price on this car period the bumpers look great the chrome looks great uh, light bezels look good it's got porta walls so you've got the white wall tire look they look great tires have great tread on them um, front light bezels are in good shape the chrome on the front is in great shape so that, like I said all the chrome on the car all the trim on the car looks awesome the driver paint job it's just a driver quality paint job it's got imperfections in it uh, but the great thing about it is, is that a car like this, honestly, I'm going to keep on showing you the car here, but you, you could paint this car for nothing. They're little. So you could, you could scuff this thing down or even take it all the way down and repaint it uh, for very little money. And you could have a really, really nice paint job put on it. You have a whole nother car. But you could also just buy it like it is, do nothing to it and drive it for the price that you're buying it and say, man, I got a steal. This is a great deal. Door panels look awesome. I mean, the interior is basically brand new excellently covered very nicely done interior matching boot for the convertible top dashboards in great shape it does have the replacement radio i was raving about a minute ago and that's also got an ipod connector in the glove box you pop the glove box open you can pull that little cord out you can stick your phone or your ipod on it you got tunes for as long as your ipod battery lasts Underneath the hood, um, I've got, uh, oh, we've got it uh, connected with a bungee cord. The, the um, lock on the front of the hood is actually not functioning. So um, it does not pop up when you're going down the road. That, that, has, that has not happened, but um, we just put that on there as a safety precaution just because it really is just a, one of those little things that needs to be fixed. Under here, excellent shape underneath the hood. Paint looks really good. It's got a little carpet kit, spare tire. Opens and closes well, holds up with its own uh, hinges. Show you the underneath of the car. A couple of minor rest spots on the car, but nothing, nothing huge. Show you real quick. The little spot right there. And actually the floor pans look pretty good. There's one spot right there as well. Um, some of that is peeling undercoating. In fact, I'll stick my hand under there and pull on that. 
that's actually not rust. That's undercoat, old undercoating that's been peeling off. So I want to make sure that people see that correctly when we when we display that. that that's actually not rust. So I'm, I don't know if you can see me peeling that off right there. So that's actually very clean. It gives the appearance of look. I just want to really be clear on that. It looks like it may be rusty under here, but it's not. It's just old undercoating. It does have that one rusty spot right there. And let me get a good close on it, close eye on it, because people are going to want to know what they're getting into. That's the one spot of rust on the entire car that I know about. Floor pans have a couple of patches in them. Nothing like laying on concrete in Georgia when it's 100 degrees out. There's this uh, floor pan patch right there. Not the prettiest thing, but not keeping you from driving the car. Same thing on the other side. Uh, oh my gosh, it's so hot. Uh, no major leaks at all. Typical, very, very tiny, itsy bitsy drop of oil that comes out of every Volkswagen engine. But nothing more than that. Transmission shifts out great. Um, clutch is nice and tight, as if being replaced recently. Overall, as is right now, excellent driver, excellent driver. I mean, this is a car you can hop in and go to go right down the road. Great price. Uh, I've, I, I, I'm blown away to see how high up these cars go. And if you wanted to take this to the high level, you could with not too much effort. A couple of weld spots to replace, uh, to fix the rust. Brand new paint job. I want to go to show quality. But like I always say, uh, I'm, I like about what we do is having driver, nice driver quality vehicles that you can enjoy without having a bunch of money in them. And that's what this 67 Beetle is. It's a great car to drive. It's in everyday driver condition. It looks great going down the road. It's got a uh, really nice looking interior. You wouldn't be embarrassed to be at a car show in it. You're gonna love this car. It's, it's, it's really, really fun. I'm, in fact, I, if you can hear it in my voice, the hesitation, I kind of don't even want to sell it. This is one of the few Beetles that I've got in my shop where I'm going like, I really want to keep this thing. So somebody's gonna have a blast with it.